Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and I'm going to show you guys how I actually edited this image. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to press Ctrl E and it's going to take me to Photoshop. Well, it's going to take the document to Photoshop and this is the, the image that we're working on today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly duplicate the image but before I... Um, do that before I start the editing process. Let me tell you the settings real quick. I was using the Sony A7 III as usual. The Tamron 28-75mm lens is a 2.8 lens. I was shooting at 4.5. My exposure was 400, ISO 100, and I was using a strobe. Um, the power, the power for the strobe was about um, 64 because we had a lot of sun. All right. So yeah, so let's get right to the editing. First, I'm gonna straighten the image because it's not straightened. So about right there. All right, good. And if you notice, we we have the background bleeding here. And that's fine. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, that wasn't the original edit I did though, but I see it can actually work for me. So I'm gonna Control Shift Alt E to create a duplicate. And then I'm just gonna press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp tool and ensure that the clone stamp tool uh, opacity is at 100 and flows at 100. I'm just gonna sample by holding on, on uh, Alt and then I'm just gonna paint over the section here. Good. Do it for the this side as well. That's good. Perfect. Now I'm going to work on our skin real quick so you can see it's overexposed a little bit well not a little bit it was way overexposed so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to camera raw i'm going to create a new layer again Control j and then i'm just going to go to camera raw here under filter camera raw and then i'm just going to play with the highlights so i'm going to pull the highlights down all right and then i'm going to pull the temperature down a little bit as well okay good then I'm going to scroll down to where it says color mixer or yeah, color mixer and the yellow because there's yellow in our skin. I want to get rid of some of the yellow. So I'm just going to use the uh, saturation and bring it down a little bit and bring it way down and see. All right. So I don't want to do that because I noticed that the yellow is changing for the uh, tractor in the background. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to come here to the orange. The orange will change the color in the skin. So I'm going to do opacity. All right. So that works. I like that. Then I'm going to go back to the basic option here. And I'm going to play with the dehaze a little bit. So dehaze just a little bit. And then I'm going to do uh, contrast. All right. Let's look at the before and after. So see, it looks much better. So I'm going to work with that for now. Good. Then I'm going to do frequency separation real quick. So I'm going to click the frequency separation action. And you can download the action from my website by using the link in the description. Now I'm going to go to the low frequency layer. And then I'm going to press, well, I have a shortcut on my keyboard for M for the mixer brush because that's what I use uh, for the mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally nested under the brush. So if you hold on the brush icon here, you should see the mixer brush. Uh, for the mixer brush, I'm going to put this at about uh, 13. And everything else remains the same. And then I'm just going to start um, mixing. So all I'm doing, I'm just doing straight lines. And if you want it to work faster, you can um, put your wet up a little bit higher and it will make the adjustment faster. Alright. So you see where here is dark. Using the mixer brush, you can lighten it up by. Uh, going from the light area to the dark area, you can light up the section. Alright, that looks good. What I'm going to do now is to, well, let's look at the before and after for this. So, that was before the frequency separation, and that's after. Now, I'm going to go to the high layer, press J on the keyboard for my patch tool, and just going to remove any blemishes. Um, so, I'm 
our skin. Okay, looks good. Don't see anything else. All right, perfect. All right. So what I want to do now is to make the flow a little bit more on this side so it's even. So what I'm going to do now is to create a new layer. Control R Shift E to create a new layer, and then I'm going to use the uh, what's this tool called? Lasso tool. I'm just going to make a selection for this section here. Then I'm going to hold on and control and then press C to copy and then control and then V to paste. Then I'm going to invert it, but before, well not invert, I'm going to rotate it uh, horizontally. So I'm going to control T to select it, then I'm going to right click and then come down here to flip horizontally. Good. Then I'm going to move it over like that. Then I'm going to press enter. So now we have to clone not clone we have to mask it out now so I'm gonna come here to the masking tool I'm just gonna press it once and then change my foreground to black because I'm painting on white and then I'm going to press B for the brush I'm gonna put this at uh, the flow at about 72 percent just gonna get my brush bigger by using a bracket on the keyboard and I'm just gonna brush like this Alright, just like that. And if you notice right here, it's not even anymore. So what I have to do is to press X to change the foreground to white so I can get back that section. That looks good. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, so now it looks like, you know, it's a part of the dress. And trust me, if you see any dress like this flowing like this, normally if you don't have a lot of people um, to fluff the dress, you will have to edit it in Photoshop and nobody will actually know that you did. All right, so for this section here now, I have to um, get rid of it. So I can do, uh, I can change this back to the black and then I'm just going to get my brush smaller and go in. And remove the sections here I'm just gonna scroll up closer so I can see what I'm doing you know what I'm going to use a you know what I'm, I'm I'm gonna try to use the pen tool because the pen tool will give me a sharper edge or you can always um, change the the softness of the brush you can get a harder brush and go around but that's too much work right now so I'm just gonna do this with the pen tool all right right there should be fine I'm just gonna come over like this then I'm gonna do make selection I'm gonna keep it at one and then I'm just gonna press delete wait I may have to invert it so um, control shift I and then delete oh I think I deleted the wrong thing uh, let me see something here okay so you have to come to the um, the layer here to delete it all right so that looks good all right so we have to fix right here now to fix that I'm just gonna press Control T while I'm on this layer here I'm gonna right click and then go to warp and then I'm just gonna pull this down like that like this all right let's push this up a little bit more so it joins right there we still have a little piece here that we need to remove so it's gonna do this with the pen tool and remove this as well here delete oh. so I guess I have to invert now good perfect all right, so now we want to fix here so it looks natural. So I'm going to create a new layer. Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Control J to duplicate it because you don't want to work on the new layer that you've created. You always want to have a backup so you can always go back to. I'm going to press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp tool. And then I'm just going to sample and paint. Wait. I have to undo all of that. Sample. What's happening here? 
sample and paint all right that looks good that looks natural like a natural motion right there all right good so i think that is it for that um because i'm okay with everything i'm just gonna merge most of these um uh, layers so what i did was to just select from the top to the um, bottom here by holding on alt no shift sorry and then now i'm gonna control e to merge everything good so that's the before that's the after so now um it still seems like there's the transition right here um doesn't look real but to be honest it looks like that to me but to you you would never know that but if you'd want to make some adjustment to it what you could do is just create a new layer go back to the clone stamp tool again and then you just sample Wait. Let me get this bigger what you could do you could get a sample from this side like that wait like that yeah that should be good or you could do some more additional that get the stripes down like that good all right so i'm done with that so i'm gonna do some color grading now well i started out with a little color grading but i'm just gonna do more I may just use my uh, preset you can go to my website for that as well by using the link in the description I'm just gonna come to camera raw it's a camera raw preset I'm gonna apply it now and see what it looks like don't worry about these things that are showing around here you won't see them so I want to well if you're using Photoshop 2020 this is how it's going to look so I'm gonna come here to where it says presets I'm gonna come down here to my warm tone preset uh, you can look at the before and after and it looks really awesome so I'm just gonna press ok good so that's the finished product and you know you can always go in and make finer adjustments to the image I think I've uploaded this to my Instagram already let me check um, go to Instagram and see Oh, actually, I did not upload that to my Instagram yet. Okay, so if you did not follow my Instagram, guys, you can go right ahead and follow my Instagram now. And I'm going to upload this image. I'm actually doing this video today. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to upload this image to Instagram now so you guys can see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.